welcome to the stage PLU's very own Plutonic and Harmonic. Welcome, welcome. Could I have all of you introduce yourselves and say which group you're from in case they aren't sure? Um, I'm Sean, and uh, I am the president of Plutonic. Hi, I'm Ethan, and I'm the music director of Plutonic. Uh, I'm Allie. I'm a bass in Plutonic. Woo, Ooh, bass. <laughs> I'm Harmonic. <laughs> I'm Sarah, and I'm the vice president of Harmonic. All right, awesome. Honestly, that bass, the Plutonic thing went right over my head. I'm glad you clarified. I, I, it was, it was. Uh, so you had recently your big concert, what was it, a few weeks ago, where you had your big, uh, your big get-together? I don't know why I called it a get-together. <laughs> you hung you, out. It yeah, was just, just fun. Yeah, just chill. Had, yeah. How did, how, what was that like? What was, can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, it was, it was great. We, uh, we got together with our two groups and the uh, Clay Crows and uh, performed some uh, uh, music uh, in KHP. Um, featuring some uh, Bruno Mars, uh, Frankie Valli, um, Ed Sheeran, um, The Works. How many of you got to go there? A lot of people there? <laughs> yeah! So moving forward, uh, I understand that you have ICCAs in coming up and that stuff coming up. What can we expect from you this year? What do you have cooking? Uh, how do you, what do you want to take the groups with the rest of your year? Okay, so this is our like pitch for Plutonic that we give to like everyone at the beginning of the year. You know, like, uh, pitch Perfect, that's, that's real. There's a real competition real. In, in Pitch Perfect called ACCA, and we compete in that every year, and it's super cool, and it's going to be in Tacoma this year. Um, and we, uh, well, we prepared for that by like, picking a bunch of songs we think are cool, and then writing, writing them all on a whiteboard, and then yelling at each other until we pick three. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's, that's about how it goes. Democracy. Um, pretty much, yeah. It went smooth this year. Yeah. We were pretty yeah. pumped, yeah. yeah. More yep. on it later. We Ooh. also use the stairs of MBR for cardio, so yeah. Oh. We prepare. Oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. how you get ready, the, yeah, sing, yeah, the, yeah. the singer. Those stairs are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so do you start from all the way outside and then work your way all the way? Oh, okay, yeah, that's legit. Yeah. That's legit. Uh, we don't. They don't do it. We just sit around. <laughs> uh, so I understand that Plutonic, you have a performance coming up at the end of, the Dece at the end of December, that's correct, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, would you like to talk about that a little bit? Tell us, like, how can we go? What do we, what do we have to do to be yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so our performance is, um, I believe it's December 15th. Um, it's in Seattle um, at Thelma DeWitty Theater. It's part of the third annual, um, oh, what's it called? The... No, it's an acapella showcase concert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's going to be two other groups in Plutonic, and we're going to be doing like half an hour of like seasonal, you know, holiday music esque <laughs> stuff. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, and yeah. That's awesome. And they're going to preview some of their songs, right? Are you going to, are you hey, songs are going to be singing tonight? Uh, yes. Going to be there? Yes. So if you like what you see, you can head to their concert. And when's the date on that? Uh, it is December 15th. Oh, just in, at the end of finals week. So end of finals, finals week. Over. Yep. Yeah, after perfect. finals. Uh, so I have a question for both of you. What is your favorite, what's your favorite performance you've done since you've been in acapella, just at PLU, let's say? Definitely not late night. Ooh. I'm joking. Comedy. Comedy. Uh, <laughs> um, no, probably for me, um, ICCA my first year um, was insane because we all went, <laughs> we practiced way too much. And I was just a teeny little like first year at POU and I was like, there are so many people here. Why are they all looking at me? Um, and now I just be bugs. It's like nothing, so. We, we did this really weird concert <laughs> two years ago um, where we were told by the president of Plutonic at the time, Kyle Mitchell, uh, he was like, he was like uh, these people are, are being very generous with us. They want us to sing a good amount of music um, for, the, for some sort of benefit. Uh, so we show up and they're like, okay, actually we only want you to sing three minutes of music. Um, and we're like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, um, cool, And yeah. then they're also like, and here's the lyric sheet. And we're like, oh, for, oh. for what? And they're like, oh, because you'll be singing uh, We Are the World with 100 elementary school children as well. <laughs> So we like finish our song and we like pull out the words and then like a hundred children come up on stage and they have this backtrack and we just sing the chorus on loop for like five minutes while they film us. We it was world. so weird. We are the 
children. Did they bring candles and things? Was did the Justin Bieber show up like you did? They the, danced. The they kids danced. danced. A hundred yeah. children yes. danced in unison. We didn't know the move, so we just kind of stood there. <laughs> <laughs> it <was> bad. <laughs> but they were very generous. Uh, I think it's like it's what what rich people would call a benefit and <laughs> what I would have called a rich people convention. <laughs> Did you whip out any plutonic body rolls while you were up there or anything? Or? There maybe, were maybe. children there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, plutonic, uh, while you were talking, I understand you're raising money for a CD. Is that correct uh, as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah tell we us about are. that. Yeah, so um, about six years ago, in 2011, they released the first plutonic CD. And now all those people are gone. They have lives now. Oh, no, they're um, gone? Yeah, yeah, they're gone forever. <laughs> um, and so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so and so we decided this year as our big project for spring semester, uh, besides ICCA, is to um, is to make a new CD. Wow. Um, yeah, featuring all the members of Plutonic and maybe some past alums as well. Well, if you need a feature artist, um, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a yes. I'm in their CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll sing the Jason Derulo track, right? Yeah. Jason Derulo. Yeah. Just that part. Just that's that it. part. Just that. Sam Ellison. <laughs> Sam Ellison. <laughs> good, I like that. That was, that was Wait, not good? Do it one yeah. more time. Sam Ellison. Good, go. good, Sam. good, good. <laughs> so are you excited for the holidays, the break coming up? Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but lots of excitement. What, what do you have planned? Any, uh, do you have any, what are you excited for exactly? What are you? I'm going to sleep for a solid three days when I get home. Yeah. Anybody else? You sleep? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to literally bake everything that's ever existed with my family. It's, it's an event. Like, we go all out all day. We wake up at like 4 a.m. We start the rolls. Wow. We start the cinnamon rolls. That's why turkey. you have to sleep for three days, yes, right? Exactly. You have, you to, have to prepare. Yeah. You have to prepare. Any, any, does anybody else have anything fun they're excited for? No. Sarah, I think. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing at all. No. No, we're pretty excited for you know the the semester to be over. But you know, right, yeah. Who's excited for some a little break? Yeah. <laughs> the best part. Yes. <laughs> were you sleeping already, getting a head start on your rest? Yeah. Uh, so Alicia already told us about one of her holiday tra traditions. Traditions. Uh, do you have any other like kind of weird things that you do that's very unique to your families that? I mean, I'm the one that puts up Christmas lights because everybody else in my family is afraid of heights. So I get on the roof every year. Oh, wow. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing that? 12. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's old enough. Get her up there. Yeah, yeah. Call Child Protective Services. Yeah. I mean, come on. Hey, you're, you're old enough now, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure. She's 12. Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm still 12. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's uh, impressive yeah. for a college. I had a lot of work done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, so, do you, did you all believe in Santa Claus at one point in your life? Yes. Yeah? Y yes. Uh, so I, I'm just wondering, so for me, I just kind of slowly phased it out, and part of me is still like, no, he's out there. He's out there. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, did, did you have any experiences where you're like, man, Santa's not, not real, or what was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Christmas, at, a big family Christmas at my aunt's house. I was like eight years old, right? And we had already opened the presents. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go walk around the house because I'm an eight-year-old. I like to explore. And so I walk into uh, like a bedroom or something. And I was like, what's in this drawer? And I found the wrapping paper of my Christmas present. Oh. So and I was like, you lie. <laughs> So did you always speak like that as an eight-year-old? You're going, I wonder, I'm going to go around the house now in rhythm. Is Actually, that, yes. Is that why you joined an a cappella group, probably? Is for the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a Santa tale. Go ahead. I was nine. And I read the note that Santa wrote. Mm -hmm. he, he wrote us notes every Christmas, which was very sweet. Thank you. And um, She was shocked already. She knows where it's going. <laughs> I was nine, and I looked at the paper, and I said, that's my dad's handwriting. And apparently a lot of people have had that experience that they like realized their dad's handwriting was the same as Santa's. Um, but what I did is I bribed my father into letting me eat the cookies at night. Wow. 
So, so he would come in to my room and be like, okay, we hid the presents under the tree. Do you want a bite of the cookie so you can pretend to be Santa? And I said, yeah, obviously I do. So you became Santa. I was Santa. I think then the tale lives on. The I tale am lives Santa. On. So <laughs> I feel like we get to see a lot of Putonic and Harmonic individually on campus, and we get to know you. But we don't like nobody gets to hang out with you as a group. So I'm curious, what what are the groups like? Like, can you tell us a little bit about? <laughs> we're just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> like uh, we we were waiting like backstage here. We had some extra time, and uh, one of the guys goes, "Hey, you you guys want to sing a barbershop tag?" And then we just did. We're just a bunch of nerds. We just like to sing a lot. <laughs> We just literally talked about conspiracy theories for like an hour <laughs> last night. So yeah, we get off topic a little bit, but we also get some work done. But you know, it's a group of people who go off on tangents and have a lot of fun together. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was weird. So what are, like, what are your favorite parts of being in the group? I mean, you talked about that you get to be together. What is like, if you're like, what's the best part about being in a college acapella group? What would you say? What's your... Uh, so this thing happened um, <laughs> where um, I just happened to have a uh, PLU mom shirt because it was $6. It was on sale. Uh, and then Sean just happened to have picked up a PLU dad hat. That was not on sale. He just bought it. Um, and then how much, wait, how much was the hat worth? Uh, it was it was more than six dollars. Oh. Uh, and then one time we wore them on the same at the same time to the same gig. Uh, so now we're mom and dad. Uh, so that happened. <laughs> and when so, thank you, son. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when someone comes up to me like, what's your favorite part about being an acapella group? You're just gonna go, well, I'm mom. Well, I'm mom. So yeah. No, I gotta meet his parents. So I gotta meet like the in-laws. It was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> A big step in our relationship. <laughs> Do you want a serious answer, though? Like, that was, yeah, that was very serious, I know. But like, That's from the heart. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really fun when uh, you find a group of people that you, you're kind of forced to be in once you get into the group. That sounds mean. But like, you show up, you rehearse. Um, but it's really fun because uh, a couple of rehearsals in, uh, you start realizing that like they're some of your best friends, and you wouldn't have met them any other way because there's nursing majors and um, computer science majors and people that I forced to join the group. <laughs> yeah, treasure! Um, and uh, just like people you wouldn't really run into across campus unless you guys didn't love to sing and all decided to randomly audition for this random acapella group on campus. We're the, we're the Aka family. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I, I had one bad pun, they get one too. <laughs> <laughs> what? It wasn't a pun. Oh, it was just truth. <laughs> yeah, it was truth. I'm not joking, Sam. <laughs> Sean, this is a comedy show. <laughs> we don't joke here. <laughs> don't make jokes. <laughs> well, we're going to pl make plenty of jokes. Sorry to disappoint you, because after this, we're going to be playing PLU's uh, feud, PLU Feud with Plutonic and Harmonic. It's an acapella family feud. It's an acapella family feud. <laughs>